guys, and welcome back to Renee GTV. Today we're going to do mozzarella stuffed meatballs. Very simple and easy recipe. You're going to start out with a pound of ground beef, and this one's lean. I'm going to add one half cup of Italian breadcrumbs. We're going to go ahead and add a quarter cup of water, or you can use milk. I'm going to add approximately a quarter cup of fresh parsley. And one half teaspoon of salt, one half teaspoon black pepper, quarter teaspoon of garlic powder and a quarter teaspoon of onion powder. We're going to put that in and we're also going to add one egg to this. Okay, and once you have all your ingredients in your bowl, you're just going to thoroughly combine it and mix it together. Once you have everything thoroughly combined, we're just going to start forming meatballs. And you can use a scoop to do this. You're going to just kind of make a round ball. And then we're going to take a cube of mozzarella and just kind of push it into the center and close it back up. And then we're going to roll those about like that. And I'm just going to put this back in my bowl right now. And we'll do another one. Do your mozzarella cube. This is a quick dinner. Um, again, kid friendly. My little boy really likes spaghetti and meatballs. We're going to do these in the crock pot, but you could cook these on the stove on low um, or just until they're done. So there is our second one. I'm going to go ahead and continue to roll these and then we will start cooking them. Okay, so we have all of our meatballs ready to go and it does about 20 I actually got 19 we're gonna take and get a skillet we're going to get that hot on about medium high heat and I'm gonna add some olive oil and then all we're gonna do is we are going to sear or just brown the outside of these meatballs. We're not looking to cook them, just to brown them. Give them plenty of room. <coughs> Okay, so once they've been browned, we're just going to remove those and let those drain on a plate. Okay, so we have our meatballs all ready to go, and I've got my crock pot out. I'm going to put that on high, and I'm going to place my meatballs just right inside here. And just kind of keep them in one layer if you can. And then we're just going to take our spaghetti sauce and I have some that I canned and we're just going to pour that over our meatballs. And I'll probably need more than just this quart. But... And then what you're going to do is you're just going to cook this for three to four hours on high 
And if you don't want to do the crock pot, you can definitely just cook these in a frying pan in sauce on medium um, and have your dinner ready a little bit sooner. But tonight we're gonna do the crock pot and this is pretty much ready to go. So I'm just gonna place the lid on and let it cook. And then I will bring you guys back and show you what they look like. So there it is, spaghetti and meatballs. It's ready to go. You can see that the cheese has melted. Um, very simple, easy, quick meal to throw together. You can use these meatballs for meatball subs or pretty much anything else you'd like. I definitely hope you guys give this a try. Let me know down below what you think. And as always, guys, appreciate you watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like the video, and we'll see you next time.